often considered the greatest writer in the English language and the world's greatest playwright. William Shakespeare's works have captivated audience for around five centuries. From humble beginnings in Stratford-upon-Avon, he rose to prominence during the reign of Tudor Queen Elizabeth I, and he was also an actor and owner of a playing company, The Lord Chamberlain's Men, or The King's Men. Some of his best-known works, Hamlet, Romeo and Juliet, Richard III, Othello and Macbeth, have been translated and performed in dozens of languages worldwide, and through his writing, he explored many different topics, which were considered controversial at the time. But at the age of 52, he passed away in the same town that he was born and raised in. But what is the story behind Shakespeare's death? Join us today to find out, and remember to support our channel. Please make sure to subscribe. It's not known for definite when Shakespeare began writing, but a number of his plays were being performed by 1592 in London. He was known in the city at the time, and he did act himself in a number of his plays. Throughout his life and career, he split his time between the bustling London and the much quieter Stratford-upon-Avon, and he owned houses in both of them. He is famous for overseeing the construction of the Globe Theatre, but it was said by Samuel Johnson that Shakespeare retired home to Stratford for a number of years before he passed away. In 1608 he was still working as an actor, but the following year the bubonic plague laid waste to London. Because of this, the playhouses and theatres were closed during the outbreak, and Shakespeare would have been out of work at the time. He continued to visit London between 1611 and 1614, and was used as a witness in a court case. No other plays were attributed to him after the year 1613, but on the 23rd of April 1616, he passed away. It's commonly believed that he passed away on his birthday, but the exact date of his death is not known. The burial records inside the Holy Trinity Church in Stratford-upon-Avon state how he was buried on the 25th of April 1616. The final months of his life were embroiled in a scandal as his daughter Judith was married to Thomas Quinley. Thomas had an affair with another woman who fell pregnant and then died in childbirth and this caused a great shock throughout the family. Quinley was brought to a church court and was forced to do public penance this brought shame to the family, and also may have been why months before his death, Shakespeare organised his affairs and his will. But how did Shakespeare die? The exact cause of his death is not known, but there is a common theory that he passed away after contracting a fever, after having a drinking binge, and a heavy night of alcohol with Ben Jonson and Michael Drayton, both fellow writers. The vicar of the Holy Trinity Church where he is buried, John Ward at the time wrote, Shakespeare, Drayton and Johnson had a merry meeting, and it seems drank too hard, for Shakespeare died of a fever contracted there. It's considered to have been a rather historically accurate sentiment too, as some historians accept that this actually happened, but this anecdote could be embellished. But there is another belief which is more realistic, and it's that for over a month before he died, that Shakespeare was ill. This comes from the fact he dictated his will on the 25th of March, less than a month before he passed away. This would keep up with the tradition at the time that one made their will whilst on their deathbed, and it's likely that Shakespeare knew what was coming, so he decided to get his affairs in order. The signature on his will is also rather shaky, showing that he could have been ill or been frail. However, the fact he lived to the age of 52 was considered a triumph, as in Elizabethan England, the average age of a man was roughly 35 or 40 years of age. His wealth and comfortability probably led to him living longer. He died a wealthy man too, and in anticipation of his death, he left words to be written on his tomb. They read, Good friend for Jesus' sake forbear, to dig the dust enclosed here. Blessed be the man that spares these stones, and cursed be he that moves my bones. Lying today still in the chancel of the Holy Trinity Church in Stratford-upon-Avon, is the remains of the greatest playwright the world has ever seen. His death and demise remains a mystery, but it's likely that he just got ill and sick. He lived a very interesting life, but like most great artists, he was appreciated in the time and centuries after his death. Once again, thanks for watching. To support our channel, please make sure to subscribe, and once again... Thank you so much for watching.